Hey folks, welcome to Friday the 14th of January 2022. Uh, we, a bit of a quiet morning here in Europe. Uh, yesterday we were looking for equities really to try and get up there and uh, it was a little bit of a, a damp squib on the initial jobless claims uh, coming out of the US there. Um, you know, I think it just added a small amount of about 27,000 uh, to the roster. And let me just pull up some of these U.S. equities for you for this session. Um, but largely you're seeing on the NASDAQ, if I go over on these charts here, you'll see on the NASDAQ really <laughs> a bit of a bad day for the NASDAQ yesterday. Um, I'll just pull this up here on the daily so you can see here. Uh, daily bars resistance on the on the top 16,000 uh, not even actually technically trading yesterday uh, the 50 EMA really putting on the ceiling there and down we come again to test on the mega channel now in the grander scheme of things we, we when before when we tested this channel on the up or from you know on the downside testing here uh, we have not flushed this heavily ever on this channel going back to really uh, the uptrend since the 2nd of November 2020, right? Um, so we're now supported in conjunction with the lows on the 20th of deck uh, last year, uh, not too long ago. Uh, you can see here 15,492 is even on the lows, bringing in support. And so, you know, just, just take note of that. We are set for a push today up on NASDAQ by the looks of this. Technically, a breakdown in this area is really going to be... Uh, not too nice. We're going to come into prior support 15163s. And if we're breaking down on trend here for a second go at this area, I believe it's going to break down. So, you know, but for me, it's uh, on the longs up to at least the 100 EMA uh, now. And should we find ourselves up to the 16,000 again today during the session, uh, I think we're going to push above. So, uh, you know, that would be a huge update for the NASDAQ. Uh, so, Let's see what we can get out of that market today. Spoo's equally quite weak yesterday um, in trying to get on up. And the 47.35's even putting in that ceiling again here. So that's been the high uh, from the 22nd of uh, November last year. Uh, you can see that there's quite a little range here uh, for this market uh, with a little bit of a line in the sand. Uh, the tighter range is this gray area on the charts. So I'm actually going to um, delete that now. We can just kind of have a cleaner chart to look at. Uh, for me, I think the bounce is likely as long as we can put in uh, some trade above the 4663s. I mean, you can see this morning, little bit here, just a little bit of trade coming in above there, but nothing too significant and not able to hold above. So for me, for the longs, I'm, I'm, I'd rather wait for a bit of this. Uh, get the pull back and then you know look for the entry here and up we go. Uh, the target there will be 47.35s and above actually for the runners. Uh, so you know, nice way to stay out of trouble on the spoos is to really wait and see what you can get on 46.63s. Otherwise, I think we're going down. I did have a nice short on the spoos here from that high put in yesterday. Actually, I think I was shorting a bit lower. Um, actually, no, it was from that high. Pretty layup trade there, 47.35s. I'll just make this full screen. You can see really that retest um, just on the open up here, uh, not able to hold anything at all, comes down, uh, two little failures here to bid back up and a uh, lovely opportunity to get short and hold that into the close um, on the spoos. So um, that's it really on uh, that. Uh, the, Dow, the Dow is a little bit of a different story. Um, there has been... Uh, probably what I would say is clearer support for the pullback yesterday on the Dow on the 60 minutes here you can see that pullback into the trend that mega trend from my daily bars you can see to the tick pulling in here uh, just kind of around the close half eight there and then half two we had this lovely little pullback here for the long swingers um, to get on up now that's sort of dip buying 3.0 for us this week We've seen the volatility Monday down into the 50 EMA, washing out, half five, finally taking a lift. You saw Tuesday here uh, on the open, pressing down into that 50 EMA, 35, 687s as well, just below, and the dip buyers loading up. 
And now it's quite easy to see that when we come back and test then the next significant support uh, below yesterday late on the session um, that you know that was going to be supportive. Now you can see this morning that it's just finding it quite hard to lift here. We have uh, EDS negative story out of France this morning. It's weighing a little bit on stocks, nuclear company, uh, of course, and uh, some bad reports coming in on their nuclear reactors. That's enough to put the skits on anyone, really. Um, so, you know, just a little bit of weight on equities here coming in from Europe today. Um, Euro, you know, it's it's breaking out. We were I think we were looking at the 14 120s on Monday uh, for, you know, as a significant target level. And we've gotten that push above on higher. Uh, well, really, uh, 7 percent inflation coming in there in line on expectations. Um, and the weaker dollar then allowing the you know cable and euro to get on up here i think a pullback 14 120s is potentially on the cards here a little bit of a morning trend break uh, strategy to observe on this so you're seeing this what you want to do to get in on this is kind of wait for the break uh and the pullback and then kind of get in on that trade you might get a bit of flushing but get in on that trade for the short side and uh, rarely do these things break down just and keep going unidirectionally you know uh, these moves are not linear in that sense and um, so yeah nice potential there laying up on the euro today and um, but for now that trend is supportive right that trend is supportive you can't fight it until it breaks you know and um, gold 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 Look, uh, support 1803s or 1809 spot threes for the pullback on the long. Um, otherwise, I'm not interested. Um, I don't, yeah, the short, I don't, I don't want to get on board, on board with that short. And oil, of course, uh, the, the superstar, the MVP of the week uh, being oil. Here we are on the daily, actually, this is a weekly bar chart. We're into, back into this, uh, this uh, pretty significant downtrend, right? We've been monitoring this for months, maybe maybe a year now, actually, well, years, actually. It goes all the way back to 2015. All right, so we're pressing up here into this. Next stop up will be 86 spot 80s. Uh, but really, you know, if there's one man who knows everything about oil, his name is Daniel Jurgen. And let me tell you, this is what Danny's targeting, 107 spot 74s. Um, and you know, I, I would tend to uh, believe the guy. What he doesn't know about oil is not worth knowing. Um, so yeah, here we go. You know, I think strap in. The market is moderately strong this morning. Um, so you know, there's lots of food for thought for the bears and the bulls right here. Big decision time. And uh, so, so I really would be uber excited to see a push up here above to the eighty six eighties, pull back and a hold. And then we go. Now that's all in the context of probably two weeks at least for that to take take shape. Not today for sure. We're not going to get all of that in one day. So yeah, be be aware. I will be playing oil on the long side at the moment rather than the short. Um, and I've certainly uh, put my money where my mouth is. So all right, that is it for uh, this week and today's pre-US session. Tune in next week for more fun and games on these markets. Do hit the like and subscribe button. Please do leave a comment if you find any of this interesting. And uh, as always, only take the good trades. All right, cheers. Bye-bye.